Hi guys, welcome to Empower, and my name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to give you my top tips on how to feel good at work. By the way, this video was sponsored by Reload. If you have not heard of Reload, I'm going to go over them a little bit later in this video, but they are giving away free name badges just like this to all of my subscribers that sign up. It takes two seconds and it's absolutely free. It's an outstanding opportunity. Pretty much every nurse should belong in their system because you have nothing to lose and a lot to gain. Anyways, let's move on with the title of this video, which is how to feel great at work. Now, I am going to point out a lot of really common sense things, but you have to understand like in the stress of the job, it's really the common sense things that get overlooked and then nurses feel bad and they don't really know why. But one of the underlying reasons why I think a lot of nurses are negative is they don't feel good. They don't put the time, energy, and effort into making themselves physically feel better. By physically feeling not that great, a lot of negativity can come out and they can have a difficult time adjusting to the stress of the job. They can also have a difficult time with rebounding, taking negative comments or complaints or criticism. So when you don't feel good, all of these things can just seem to pile up and then you can get to a point where it just might be too much and you might have to leave a job or hopefully this never happens, but you might get fired. Things like that can happen when you really don't put the time, energy, and effort into yourself. Now, I am not saying by any stretch of the imagination that this is an easy thing to do. I do it, I put the time into myself, it's not easy, but it is doable. I also see a lot of nurses blaming their work, blaming the CEOs, the CFOs, CNOs, whoever you know owes whatever about not taking care of them and whatever this may be, maybe high workloads or whatever it is. But truthfully, you have to take responsibility for your health. Long after you leave the nursing profession, you still have to live in this body that you have. So it's your responsibility to find ways to take care of it. Once you accept the responsibility, understanding that it's hard but doable, you're gonna be able to live a much healthier, more balanced life. So my top tips, let me just get into it. I wanted to just tell you and sympathize with you that I know it's hard, it's really hard. But let's get into my top tips. Okay, my top first tip is hydration. You have to make sure your body is getting enough water. Water is the absolute most important thing in the world. There's nothing more important to our bodies than water. We are like, what, 70% water? So we need to make sure that we are cleansing and flushing our system. How do I drink water? So the first thing that I do when I wake up, I have about a 10 ounce cup of water right next to my bed. As soon as my alarm goes off, I essentially chug the entire thing of water. So my water drinking begins the second my eyes open. The cup is right there by, beside my bed. I fill it up before I go to sleep. And as soon as I open my eyes, that's it. I'm drinking water. Throughout the day, I bring water bottles. I also, throughout the day, may refill my water bottles with a water fountain. Okay, the second thing that I do is my diet. Now, if you guys want to see a full updated, I know I have videos from about two years ago, a full updated video on exactly what I eat, give this video a thumbs up and I will do my best to make that happen. But I just wanna see if there's an interest in another diet video. However, for the time being, I'm going to type exactly what I eat below, just so you can have like an idea of what I do now. I still do a lot of the things that I did from the past, but I have cut a few things made some things a little bit easier for my busy lifestyle. However, one thing that I do want to mention in this video is vegetable juice. Vegetable juice is unbelievable. I will put my recipe below because I honestly think that my recipe for vegetable juice trumps every other recipe. Like whenever I go somewhere and I drink the vegetable juice, I can't even stand the taste of it. But when I make my own vegetable juice and when people come over and they try my vegetable juice, they love it. So this is something that I've been doing. I tweak it all the time. I will type below what I am currently doing and I hope that that helps you. Now, I think that this next tip is going to be probably even more important, but it's mental. A lot of times at work, what I notice is when I'm not careful, I will hear 
voices in my head saying negative things over and over. Like if a patient asks for something and then I go outside of the room, I come back with that thing and then they ask for something else, then like this record will come in like saying negative things and it's like a broken record and it keeps saying that like negative thing over and over. And sometimes it goes for a little bit, unfortunately, before I recognize what's actually happening. And then I have to kind of take control and I have to put positive things into my mind. It does take some practice and I'm not perfect at it, but it's absolutely important that you notice when your mind is going off, running off, and you take a second to kind of reprogram it. So here's what I do. So if I notice my mind is on that broken record, I immediately take a deep breath in. Then after that, I find something that I'm grateful for. So since I'm at work, it's really easy for me just to be grateful for the job that I have. So I just find things that I'm really, really grateful for. I'm grateful for the opportunity to be able to walk. I'm grateful for the opportunity to be able to use my hands freely. We work with a lot of patients that lost that or never had that. So we have to be grateful for the small things. And I really truly believe that when you are grateful for the small things, bigger things to be grateful for do come your way. So practice the attitude of gratitude right where you are. Now with mental comes the next tip, which is emotional. Now I heard from Joel Osteen. A lot of you guys have been following me know that I really like Joel Osteen. He's just a positive person, despite what your religious beliefs are. He really like is just a positive speaker. But he said one time in one of his books that he never lets his emotions get too high or too low. So he's had a lot of things that he could be unbelievably happy for but he says that he controls his emotions and he's just always happy in a sense so if something unbelievable happens and i don't know maybe another one of his books is a new york times bestseller he's just as happy as he is if something really bad happens so he controls his emotional level now i've tried to do that i still tend to sometimes go really happy and then sometimes crash down a little bit but i am trying to learn this lesson from him so that when things do happen good or bad i can just stay stable now i mention this because there's a lot of things on the job that can mentally if we're not careful put us into a whirlwind that can be a conflict with a patient a nurse unreasonable expectations Guys, I know there's unreasonable expectations. I'm working on the floor with you. Rounding every hour on seven patients. Okay, <laughs> like, right, I'll do it. <laughs> Like, I know there's unreasonable expectations. So I'm not saying, you know, happy-go-lucky and just overlooking things, but at the same time, let me find a way to stay positive and stable so that when things do come to my face, I can just kind of shrug it off and be like, all right, you know, if somebody like comes and audits something that I did and it's wrong, then instead of getting emotionally upset and that draining a lot of my energy, I just fix it and then move on. And I'll just say, I'm sorry, it won't happen again. And I try not to let it happen again. That's it. Now, the last tip I have for you in this video is to do your best, but finally, at the end of the day, release it. Tell yourself, you know what? Maybe you didn't do everything perfectly because there's days that you're not going to. But you know what? Despite most of the things, you really did an outstanding job and you really did your best. So whenever I have things that I wish had gone a different way or I'm not really happy with, I really just release it. And the way I release it is I visualize myself doing it the right way. So what that does is it gives me a sense of completion, like I learned the lesson, and the other thing it, it does is when I do come to that situation, because unfortunately when something bad happens at work, it seems like the next week you have that exact same situation, which is weird. But does anybody else experience that? I don't know, it's, it's like strange. I'll make a mistake or I'll miss something and then I will do this mental game, I will see myself doing it correctly and then the next week that same thing happens. So this is all about a journey, this is all about learning and apparently life wants you to learn that lesson again or it wants me to learn that lesson again. So just do yourself that favor and release it, be happy with yourself and then when it does come up, do it the right way. <laughs> so let me tell you a little bit about Reload because Reload really is one of those opportunities that you can actually put a little bit of effort in steadily over time and it can be something really, really big. So let's get right into their video. Reload is an online healthcare job community that pays you for connecting your friends or yourself to great jobs. Using Reload is free and simple. You can start by signing up. You can log in through Facebook, LinkedIn, or use your email address. 
Once you're logged in, you can easily browse all open positions. You can search by location or by position type. At a glance, you can view job titles, locations, number of positions, and reward per hire for jobs that match your search. Click on a job and view its details. Learn more about the job in the job description. If you know someone who will be a good fit, enter their information and click Refer Candidate. If you don't have all of someone's contact information, you can use the Share This Job with Friends button. You can easily email a friend or post it to a whole social network. This is a custom link, so when somebody applies after clicking it, you get credit for the referral. Once you refer a friend or yourself to a job, you will be kept up to date throughout the entire process by the Reload team. When your referral gets hired, you'll earn thousands of dollars. Reload gives you an unmatched opportunity to make significant money by helping your friends. Ready to get started? The first step is to sign up. Join Reload today. So as you can see, Reload is a really easy way to potentially make thousands of dollars. And just for signing up today, everyone will get a name badge reel. But if you sign up and refer five friends, Reload will send you a custom name badge. So make sure you give Reload a big thumbs up for being so nice to give everybody something. So guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you out a lot and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.